Okay, Stuntman, look, I know you're tired, but there's one more scene we need to do. I need you to go into the water and swim for dear life. Don't give me that look. Are we ready? Ready and action! Hello, everybody. This is an RPG Maker 2 tutorial on how to make characters swim. You'll be surprised to know that there's not a whole lot of scripting in this, which is awesome. Um, also, I should point out that uh, I uploaded a teaser video about a few days ago, and you may have noticed that I did not show the character transitioning from land to water. And the reason is because back then I didn't quite have it figured out. But I think I got it figured out now. However, there are a couple of glitches that occur when the character goes from land to water. I'm going to demonstrate that so you can see what I mean. So pay very close attention to what happens. I'll do it again. Okay, so there's two things that happen. Number one, the camera jitters. And that's something that I don't particularly like. I tried to fix that. Uh, but that's the best I can do, unfortunately. Perhaps there is a magical formula to make the camera trick work a lot slicker, but this is the best I can do for now. The other thing you might notice is that the character will sometimes spaz out. Let me see if I can make him spaz. He didn't do it there. Let me try it again. There he goes. He just spazzed. He kind of turned to his uh, right and then faced forward. And that's something that I'm not controlling. Let me see if I can make him do it again. He's not doing it. Nope. There. He kind of did it just then. Okay, I should uh, point out that the, the character that you see on the screen is not your main character. It's actual, actually uh, an event. Your character is down in the ocean. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. He's down in the ocean walking on the sea floor. Um, and I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna show you that. Um, don't pay any attention to what I'm doing. I'll explain everything later, but first I want to show you something. Now you get to see how this really works. Okay, so first off, when I begin the game, the, um, stunt double, what I like to call the stunt double, the man in green, is following me everywhere I go, and uh, at the start of the game, he starts off as invisible. But I made him appear for the sake of showing you that that he's there. Um, and when I go into the water, look what happens. My character... See, I wasn't lying. My character is down in the ocean walking on the sea floor, and the stunt double is doing the swimming for me. And look at he's following my every uh, movement, like following my coordinates. Everywhere I go, he's following me. Um, and that is one line of code, which is awesome. Uh, you might have expected a lot of coding, but not really. All right, so I'm going to delve into the uh, tutorial. I just wanted to show you this so you can further um, have, have a better understanding of what we're going to do in the tutorial. You might be wondering, how is the uh, stunt double floating on the water, and why is the main character on land? Well, let me see if I can explain this. <laughs> the main character is bypassing objects, which means he's able to go down into the water. However, the stunt double is not bypassing objects. Okay, so so that doesn't really explain why he's floating above the sea. How is he doing that? Well, let me show you. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but uh, I'm going to go to the object models, and 
do this. Just don't worry, I'll, I'll explain it. Okay, do you see what I did? There are, um, <laughs> carpets above the ocean. Do you understand? Like, <laughs> that's, that's how the stunt double is able to swim above the ocean, uh, sea. Above the sea. Because the carpets are lifting him up. Um, but we have to hide them to make the illusion appear to be, uh, believable, basically. Alright, so... We're gonna delve into the uh, tutorial. I just needed to explain all that. Um, so yeah, let's get our hands dirty. Okay, we are going to make this thing from scratch. So I'm gonna start a new game in beginner mode. And then I'm gonna change it to hard mode so that we can edit the data. The first order of business is to create a map. So let's go to graphics, map editor, you can choose from one of these uh, preset maps, but I'm going to create my own and call it map. And we're going to edit this. I'm going to create a circular island right in the middle, and I'm going to change the peak to about 80. Um, I don't think it really matters. Maybe about 80. Um, and I'm also going to change the size of the island because it's kind of big. You'll notice that the uh, the sea level is very low, but that's okay because we can change the sea level in the script. I'm also going to change uh, the height to uh, 3, 4 sixteenths, just like that. And I think I'm going to, just for fun, I'm going to make a texture. And save that. The next thing we need to do is create an object placement. So go to graphics, object placement. I'm going to name it the same name as the map, just to simplify things. And where it says map database, choose the map that you created. And we're going to save that. Next thing we have to do is create an event placement. And I'm going to call that map. And I'm going to choose the map from the database as well as the object placement. And I'm going to save that. And lastly, we have to create a world organization from graphics. I'm gonna name it the same name as the map. Uh, where it says map database, choose the map that you created. We're gonna choose the uh, object placement and the event placement. And there we go. We just created our own little world. The next thing we have to do is create a dock. <clears throat> Let's go to Graphics Building Editor, and I'm going to name this Dock. I'm going to go to Edit. Okay, so this is kind of important. Um, the Dock is going to be three blocks tall. Now, um, the reason why it's three blocks tall is because the Dock has to be somewhat touching the uh, the sea floor. That's very important. It has to touch the sea floor, otherwise the character, the main character that's walking on the sea floor is not going to be able to get back up because uh, you need this block here. If you don't want that block to be there, I would recommend using uh, a uh, invisible texture like this one right here. But I'm just going to um, use my own texture. And 
It can be as wide as you want, and it, it can also be as long as you want, but it has to be touching the sea floor. So, and the top part right here, the surface is going to be touching the edge of the land that we created in the map editor. Uh, I'm going to show you that. Uh, but before I do, we're going to create an object model. And I'm going to call it Invis. Plane. It's an invisible plane. Oops. <clears throat> and the model is going to be a, a carpet that looks like this. The reason why I chose this carpet is because it's the object that covers a large area of blocks. It covers uh, nine blocks which is pretty convenient, so I'm going to use that. The transparency is going to be set at 100%, but for now, I'm going to leave it at 0% because we want to be able to see the carpet when we place it in the object placement. Um, I'm going to go there now to the object placement and place the dock as well as the carpets. I'm gonna zoom in, and I want the edge of the dock to be touching the edge of the land. Oops, and we got a glitch. Um, and let me exit out of here. I have to exit and then re-enter because of that glitch, but if you look at the bottom, you can see that it's just barely touching the seafloor. It's not touching it, but it's pretty close to the seafloor, and that's good enough. It doesn't have to be touching it, but it has to be pretty close like that. The next thing we want to do is add in the um, invisible planes, the carpets, and what we want to do is touch the edge of the carpet to the edge of the uh, of the dock, and then move it down by four notches. So one, two, three, four. And the reason why it's four is because if I go any lower than four, it's not going to work. Um, uh, but let's see. I'm going to add some more carpets here, here. So this, the carpets, is going to be a um, an area where the stunt double will be swimming on, on top of. Okay, so they kind of represent the level that you'll be swimming on. Also, um, I should point out, uh, there's two things I should point out. The first thing is that... The character is only going to swim where there are carpets. In other words, the character will be able to swim in this little area here, but they won't be able to swim out here because there are no carpets out here. So you need to put some carpets like this. Maybe I'll put some over here as well. So that's one of the drawbacks, but what are you going to do? This is, this is the way that I was able to make it work, so, I mean, maybe there's a better way? I don't know. Also, another thing I should point out is that if you want the character to swim underwater, you need to lower the carpets. But you can't just lower them drastically like that, because the, the character won't be able to reach it. Um, the only way they'll be able to reach this carpet is if it goes down um, by four notches. Like, okay, you can see the edge touching, um, the edge of one carpet touching the edge of another carpet, but I'm going to lower it four notches. One, two, three, four. And that should work. The character should be able to get down there. 
And if I want to, I could put some more carpets out here and lower them by four notches. One, two, three, four. And then place them here. And then... One, two, three, four. So by the time the character gets out to here, they're going to be underwater. And I'm going to save that. Okay, so now we have to create an action script. Let's go to scripts. I'm going to name this script stunt double. This is going to be the action script for our stunt double that swims in the water. It's just going to be one line of code, so events, event action, to leader. And the first step should be at about six frames. Uh, any less is too fast, any more is too slow. I found that six frames is just about right. Maybe seven frames would be good too, but six is good. So, so there's that. Now we're going to have to make our stunt double event. So let's go to events. I'm going to call it stunt double. The model should be set at none, however, for testing purposes, I'm going to choose a random model. For the motion, it's going to be the script that we created called Stunt Double. Let's save that, and let's, let's uh, place the event. Let's go to the map. And just place them on land. That's fine. I guess uh, anywhere is fine. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a script for a trigger. And we're going to call it trigger swim. And the first line of code is going to be hiding the party. So go to, uh, it's party, display party, hide party. And I'm going to comment that out for now, for testing purposes, so we can see where the character is at all times. Um, and the next thing is members, movement, vertical move. The member is going to be whatever your main character happens to be. In this case, the main character is Verk. And we're going to move him... Let's see... We're going to move him down to... I don't know... 40, I guess. I should point out that the reason why we're moving him down is because think of the, st the stunt double. The stunt double is following the, the character. However, the stunt double cannot be on top of the character. And the reason why is because the character is in the way. So we have to move the, the main character out of the way so that the stunt double can be in his place. That's the best uh, explanation I can give for that. Uh, let's do event control change stunt double. Event effects uh, model. And then whatever your... Um, whatever your... Uh, main character's model is, that's the one that you would choose. In this case, 
It would be soldier male since Verk is a soldier male. So I would choose that one. And then we're gonna do event, movement, lay down. The angle is gonna be set at negative 70 because they're gonna be lying down as if they're in a swimming position, you know, because when you swim, you're at an angle. Um, you may have to adjust that angle to your liking, but I found that about seven, negative 70 is uh, good enough. And the height is zero, time is zero. And we're gonna go to event effects motion change. And basically, we want the character to swim, you know, perform the action of, of swimming. And I found that the best action for this is the happy action. This is what it looks like. Um, for all characters, it's all the same. They just move their arms up and down. But alternatively, you could also use the special action, which is different for each character. So I would recommend going through and seeing what uh, what kind of uh, animations are available. Because some uh, animations are pretty interesting, but f for the go-to action, it would be happy, speed, I'll just leave it at 100. And let me see, camera, screen display, camera, viewpoint height. Viewpoint height is going to be set at 40. Now, this may be different uh, depending on your map. You may have to adjust it, but basically what we're trying to do is change the focus of the camera off of the main character and onto the stunt double. Um, we want the camera to be centered on the stunt double. So it's creating, creating the illusion that the stunt double is your main character, even though he's not. And then party, movement, bypass objects. And the reason why we do that is so that the main character can walk to the bottom of the ocean. Otherwise, they wouldn't be able to, to do that. And I think that should be good enough. Let's update that. We're also going to create another script called trigger no swim and party movement vertical move let's see plus 42 Okay, this is going to be different depending on your map, like I said before. Uh, you're going to have to adjust this. What we're trying to do here is we're trying to move the character from the bottom of the ocean up to the surface of the uh, the dock. Right, right on the surface of the dock. So whatever that may be, in this case I think it's 42, but I'm not 100% sure about that. We may have to test it out and see. Um, and... Event control change stunt stunt double event move vertical move 60. Okay, so the reasoning behind this is that your um, your character and the stunt double are going to be clipping into each other. And that causes a huge bug in which you can't move your character because the stunt double is in the way. So we have to move the stunt double out of the way. And in order to do that, we have to move him up or down. Uh, I would recommend moving him up though because... Well, because that way the stunt double can f uh, follow the coordinates of the main character. Event effects, transparency, 100%. I'm actually, uh, I'm, I'm actually gonna uh, copy this and paste it above here. 
because we want them to be transparent before they move up. Um, let's go to party, display party, hide party. Um, oh wait, no, not hide party, sorry. Uh, show party. Show party. Let's go to party, movement, bypass objects, no. The reason why we set it to no is because we don't want them to be able to walk into objects. We don't want them to go th right through the dock. So that's why we do that. And I think we're done for now. I'm going to comment this out for testing purposes only, uh, but that line of code should be in there. And save that. Let me check this one for a second. Uh, okay. Now let's create some events for the, the triggers that we just created. Let's go to scripts, events. Let's make trigger. Swim. The uh, start should be at equal, and the apply should be at trigger swim. And let's save that. I'm going to copy that and paste it. And instead of trigger swim, this is going to be the other one. Trigger no swim. The start is at equal, and the apply is trigger no swim. And let's see, we're going to create another script. I'm going to call this enter map. This is going to be an enter script. Enter scripts are um, things that happen. Oh, wait, script. So basically, um, oops, wait. I was going to call it enter map, my bad. So basically, enter scripts are things that happen at the beginning of... When you enter a map, something happens. So when you enter this map, this is what's going to happen. The sea level is going to rise by 40. You may have to adjust it, um, depending on your map. But for my map, it's going to be 40. And that's going to be it. We have to create a system event for, for that script, so go to Events. And I'm going to give it a name. Enter. Map. Oh, the, uh, the type is going to be set at System, and the apply is going to be the Enter Map Script. Okay, now we have to apply that system event to our world orga organization. Let's go to the map and go to the script tab and where it says enter map, choose the enter map system event that you created. Okay. Let's go to the event placement and place those triggers. Okay, so... We have an event called Trigger Swim. Trigger Swim should be placed at the outskirts of the... Ar around the perimeter of the dock. And we want to... we, we want to set it uh, right on top of the carpet, like that. And let's place some more around the perimeter, like this. Okay, now this one is a little more tricky. Trigger No Swim is going to be placed on the inside, but it's going to be placed far below. This is a bit tricky. Let me exit out of here real quick. And... 
You know, what we can do now, now that we placed our carpets, is... We can make them transparent now, because we don't need... We, we don't need them to be opaque anymore. So I'm gonna make those transparent. And... I'm gonna go back to the event placement. Okay, that's better. Now we can kind of see a little bit. Trigger no swim should be placed on the inside of the dock. I know that's kind of weird, but the reason why we do that is because the character is going to be uh, clipping inside of the dock. So it's, I don't know if you can see that. Let me zoom in. Do you kind of see it? It's like, make sure that it's touching the seafloor like that. It doesn't have to be touching the seafloor, but it has to be really close, just like that. Um, and place it on the inside like, boom, 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 there. So it should, your uh, map should look something like this. Uh, two triggers, one on the outskirts and one on the inside of the dock, literally inside. I think that should be it. Let's test it out. I'm a little bit reluctant because I feel like I'm missing something. Uh, oh yeah, I am. Okay, let's go to uh, general settings. I'm gonna change the party to make it so that there's only one party member in the party. And I'm also going to change the location, too. Okay. So, fingers crossed. Why are there boats? Oh, yeah. I didn't change the uh, event. Oops. Oh, it says boat. I meant to put trigger no swim. Uh, how did that happen? That's weird. Okay, there we go. I fixed it. So let's test it. This is what it should look like. Oh yeah, the water. The water's um, going crazy. Look at it. Okay, to fix that, go to uh, graphics, map editor. Go to the map and change um, height to 1 16th. That should pretty much do it. And let's test it. Ah, yes. Yes, yes, yes. And see, watch. As I go out like this, you can see that the character above is now underwater uh, because the carpets are lower. He's um, following the height of the carpets. And now I can go back up so now that we know that it works, let's go back into the scripts. Go to the triggers and uncomment these. Um, uncomment this. And... Let's see. Oh yeah. One more thing I need to do. Go to the event and change the stunt double model to none because it should be set to none. So there should only be one character on the screen, and there, it works. Actually, there's one bug. You can see that the camera hasn't changed. Um, that's That can be fixed. Let's go to Trigger No Swim, and change the uh, camera. Go to Screen Display, Camera, Viewpoint Height, Change it to zero, I think. Yeah, zero. And test play. There we go. It's very glitchy, but there's not much I can do about that. I'm really sorry about that. Um, this is the way that I got it to work. There might be a fix for that minor glitch. You know, the character glitching out and the camera spazzing out. I'm pretty sure there's there's some way to fix that, but I, I just, as of 
today. I haven't figured it out. Maybe if I ever do, I'll post another video. Also, you might be wondering, like, um, you can see that the water level is very high. And you might be wondering, like, is there a way to, uh, to make it so that, you know, the water level is a little lower and, you know, you can, like, dive into the water? And my answer for that is, yes, you can make a, uh, a diving board if you want to. You can even animate your character diving into the water if you want to. If the water level bothers you a lot, there is a workaround to that. You can make the dock higher up, and it could still work. And I'll show you how to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make the dock higher just to prove that I can do it. I'm going to copy the top, paste it on the top. So instead of three blocks tall, it's going to be four blocks. And I'm going to save that. And let's see. I'm going to go to general settings. I'm going to put my character on top of the dock, like so. Uh, about right there, I think. I'm also going to move the stunt double to the... I'm going to move him to the water, actually. And the reason why, you're going to see in a minute. Uh, let's go to the object placement. And I'm going to place some more... Oh, wait, no. Sorry. Uh, what we have to do is go to the object models, invis plane... Change the transparency to zero so we can see the rugs, and then go back to the object placement. And what we want to do is put some rugs around the perimeter, but we have to um, move them up. And move them up to exactly where the edge is exactly the height of the dock. So right there would be good. I, you can see that it's kind of glitching out, it's clipping into it, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. It's not a huge deal. There we go. Do something that looks like this. I know it looks hideous, but it's gonna be transparent. It's gonna look cool. So let's get out of here. Update that and go to the event placement go to map edit okay so these triggers at the perimeter here we want to move them exactly one block up so instead of two seven sixteenths it's going to be three seven sixteenths like that and i'm just going to copy and paste blah 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 it doesn't have to be exact, but it has to be pretty up there, like, as close as you can get it, you know. So that, that looks, that looks good. So it looks something like this. The reason why I moved the stunt double into the water, in fact, I should probably move him a little bit lower, um, is because if he went over here to the, or if I put him on the dock, and then I went in the water, what's gonna happen is he's gonna, um, he's gonna be on the second tier of rugs, which means he's gonna be flying in, in, um, in the air. We don't want him to fly in the air, we want him to, um, swim in the water, so he has to be on the first tier of rugs. So that's, that's why I moved him to the water. And... Let's see, let's go to scripts, go to the trigger, go to, um, what was it, go to no swim, 
and then move the vertical move exactly one block up, which is 16 notches, so that's 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 16 notches. And the reason why we do that is because we made the dock one block higher, so it has to, so, you know, the vertical move has to be one block higher. And that should be it. The only thing now is, let's see. Let's change, let's uh, comment this out. We don't want the stunt double to get out of the water this time. Because if he does and he um, ends up on the dock and then you go back in the water, what's going to happen is he's going to end up on the second tier of rugs, which means he's going to be flying in the air. And that's a bug. So we don't want this vertical move. So that's why I commented it commented it out. Ah, I can't say that. Commented it out. Commented it. Ah, oh, screw it. Okay. Let's test it out and... Oh wait, yeah, I forgot to make the carpets uh, transparent. Let's go back to the object uh, models, make it transparent. And test play. And it seems to have worked. Okay, there are some bugs that you need to be aware of. The first bug is that if I dive into the water on this side and then go back up on the dock and then dive into the water on this side, look what happens. This, the stunt double is stuck over there. And the reason why is because the script is trying to calculate where you are in relation to where the stunt double is, and it's trying to get to you in the quick quickest way possible. It's trying to find a route to you, but it's spazzing out because it can't find a way to you. So good luck with that. You're going to have to find a way to work around that. But that's not my fault. That's just, um, that's just the way, you know, the scripting is. Uh, I haven't found a fix for that, unfortunately, so... Another bug uh, you should be aware of is that if you put your uh, second tier of rugs too low, in fact, let me demonstrate this, uh, just so you know, just so you can be aware of it. Um, let me see, I'm gonna, uh, it's kind of hard to see. Let me uh, change the object models. Um, I'm gonna make it opaque so you can see it again. I'm gonna do this really fast because the tutorial is dragging on a lot longer than I expected. And let me zoom in. I'm gonna uh, move it down like this. You don't want it to be too low because I'll show you what happens. It's, uh, oh wait. <laughs> I'm going to make the carpet transparent again, and test play. Oh, it actually works. Okay, I didn't think it would work. Uh, let me move it down some more and see, because I, I was having so much trouble with this, like, uh, off camera. and. And now it, it works? Like, that's such a huge um, kick to the balls. Okay, I'm gonna move it one notch down, and that should pretty much do the trick. There. I moved it one notch down. Now I'm gonna make the carpets transparent again, and it should spaz out. Yeah, see? The reason why the character is doing that is because of the carpets. They're too low, so just be careful of that. Let me, uh, before I end this tutorial, let me show you. See? 
And that should be the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. I will see you again later. Goodbye.